In this video series, I will be showing you how to create an entire YouTube channel using all mostly AI tools. In part one, I will be covering niche selection. So before we begin producing content for your new channel and making that sale, you have to pick what topic you'd like to focus on. And in this video, I'm going to be covering niche selection and how to choose one. Now, first off, I want to clarify a lot of things because there's a lot of contradiction and you know contradictory information when it comes to choosing a niche, especially from experts or free YouTube courses, Udemy courses. I've took a lot of them, right? And a lot of them will say things like you have to go with your passion, you have to go with what you what you love, what you like, what you're good at. And then others say no, you shouldn't go with what you're good at. You should go with what makes money. You should go with you know what has high traffic. And I'm here to tell you what works for me. I'm, I'm here to clarify it and let you know from a beginner's perspective, what are the three selections that, that worked for me and why? I'm gonna ba uh, back it up with data and examples. So the first one you really uh, should look at is interest. Not expertise, interest. Right? Because I wanna clarify that. You don't have to be an expert when it comes down to creating your niche or your channel. Yeah, you don't have to be a know-it-all because you can go ahead and research it. You can learn it on your own. You can consume content and share what you've learned and your journey, just like I am, with other people who are just starting off. Because a beginner's perspective is very important. A lot of experts forget that. They you know, can't unlearn five years, six years, ten years of knowledge and then pretend to be a beginner again. But a beginner's perspective, they know the pain points. So the main point I'm trying to say is interest is very important right? because you're going to be doing this day in and day out you're going to be grinding it and if you don't have interest if you don't if you don't like the topic and you're not constantly consuming content to keep up to date on what's going on within the area within your subject matter you're going to fall behind you're going to you're going to have problems producing content it's going to feel like a drag so this is not just some idealistic feel good stuff in being interested and looking at what you naturally consume, the content that you naturally consume for free on your free time without getting paid is a good indicator that you might have something there. But there's other two criteria you'll need in order to ensure that you have staying power. And I'll get to that next. Setup. All right, so depending on your topic of choice, you're going to need a lot of setup. So let's say if you decide to do a, a cooking channel, well, you need a kitchen, yeah, and you might need a large kitchen. You might need several cast iron pots. You might need an oven, or an air fryer, or whatever. But that's all within setup. And if you don't have that, then it doesn't matter how passionate you are or how interested you are. It's, it might not be feasible to go ahead and uh, do this niche. So. When it comes down to niche selection, I would highly recommend starting out with low content uh, videos. What I mean by that is any type of niche that only requires you to use a screen capturing, a screen capturing tool like the one I'm using, or maybe uh, some PowerPoint slides, nothing crazy in the setup. So that way you can produce large amounts of content quickly and easily and you don't get burnt out. And the final step in choosing your niche will be um, <clears throat> you have to be very specific. Now, I know this one got me. This is counterintuitive, but, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> it's counterintuitive because, you know, you would think when I first started off at least, I thought, well, if I can appeal to a larger audience base, then more people would want to watch my show. And the exact opposite happened. I I wasn't really focused. I was just shooting everything like creating random videos that and seeing what would work. And here's the problem I ran into. I would get traffic. I would not get traffic. It would be low. It be, it's basically be the difference between 10 views and no views, 10 views and no views. And what I found was that when I produced content on one topic, people might like it. But then because it's not focused, I will produce content on another topic and the people that liked my first topic didn't like my second one. I'll give you a live example. When I started off, I published basically a review on a website called AliExpress and how it didn't really do that well with me. Like it basically did, I, I paid for it and it didn't ship the order for me. And a lot of people liked it, 
But then I moved into other things like uh, affiliate marketing tools and other things like that. And the people that like stuff on how to get a refund on AliExpress and how they how I got scammed and what's the inside deal on AliExpress and how to avoid stuff like that, they didn't like my new content. So it my audience became fragmented, right? And it was basically like uh, going two steps forward and, and four steps backwards type of thing, right? So this sounds really counterintuitive, but you really have to hone in on your audience it's better to go small and then you know enlarge later than to go large because you can't build momentum right your marketing efforts who are you going to market to if i have a comparison now i can say i do affiliate marketing tool reviews a lot of them are content creation tools right it's very specific as well as other things i've, I've you know expanded it a little bit but it's basically content creation resources and tools right for affiliate marketing that's very specific. Right? That's very easy to create content for that one type of person. But if it's large and you're trying to create content for everyone, good luck with that. <laughs> and you're not going to please everyone. So I really want to hit this home. Being specific with your niche, having the proper setup, so using low content video production. The key word is low content. You don't want to burn yourself out. And the last one is <clears throat> making sure that you have some form of interest within the topic. All right. So this concludes my video on niche selection. Don't overthink it. Just you know, factor in these categories and choose one. And then from there, you got to take action right? because that's the most important bit. This right here is proper setup, but the action part is the most important. So I'll see you in the next video.